Hey guys, I'm back with another prophetic word from the Father. I pray that you guys test the spirits by the spirits to see if this word is for you. Um, I also pray that you guys bring this back to the Father for divine confirmation to see if this word is particularly for you. All right, guys. So in this season, spiritual warfare is heavy. It's pretty high because of the day of the day at Halloween that's coming up. So everybody that's in the body of Christ right now, the true remnant of God, y'all, we're under heavy spiritual warfare. But in the midst of that warfare, God wants us to have compassion against our coworkers, against our brothers, against our sisters, against our family members, um, against our friends, because they're only coming at us because of God. <laughs> like, they're only persecuting us because of God. Um, every little thing that, they, that uh, the enemy is trying to do, he's going to use people to do it. So, for instance, if you're at your workplace and someone's trying to cause havoc towards you, they're only doing it. They don't even know why they're doing it, first of all. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. But they don't even understand what it is that's going on with them. They're being used by the enemy to attack you. But in the midst of that, have compassion on them. Still love them anyways. I will honestly tell you guys, for myself, this is what I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice doing more of listening in this month. More of listening. You don't have to respond to everything that everybody says. You listen. Matter of fact, let it go over your head and bring it to the Father because God said vengeance is mine. You don't have to avenge yourself. God said vengeance is mine. But I do have a scripture for you guys that the Father has given me. It's Jude 1 verse 22 and verse 23. And it says, And on some have compassion, make it a distinction. But others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments defiled by the flesh. So the word distinction, the father gave me the word distinction. Guys, while you're having compassion on the people for the differences that you guys have, um, because Peter and Paul did not agree on everything, but they were both believers. They were both Holy Spirit filled. Um, the people at your workplace, the people in your family, they might be even Holy Spirit filled too. You're not going to always agree on everything, but understand that having compassion, just as the Father has compassion unto us, um, it's grace. It's God's grace on us. So we should be graceful and uh, have grace towards others. But the definition of distinction is a difference or contrast between similar things or people. So the distinction, the distinction that God speaks about. Um, when he said, and on some have compassion, making a distinction, it's what's going to distinguish you from everyone else. See, the separation of the wheat and the tares already happened, right? The separation that distinguished us um, between the wheats and the tares already happened. And he said he's going to bring us up in the midst of the wheats and the tares. He said, don't take them away. He said, let them both rise up together. Um, and he's going to make a distinction and your compassion towards others in the midst of the warfare is your distinction, guys. So y'all keep up the good work. Y'all stay encouraged. And I pray that y'all have a blessed one. Bye.